but that what we, we really uh, released here in February is now what we call Cycling 3D. And that's really given us access to our machines, to all this information from any browser, through Internet Explorer, through uh, Chrome, through Safari, whatever browser you want to use, you can log into Sightly, see your machines uh, on site. What it does, it takes that same project file that we just saw here in 3D Office, this same line work, and I can bring that in here, upload it, and it automatically lays it right over a Google Earth image. So I can see on Google Earth where my project is, where the lines of my uh, building are. My, it, it looks a little different, the, the graphics are a little different, but it's, it's mostly the same information in a little different format. I can see the, the same machines that I just saw online in 3D Office, I see them here on the website. I want to see a little more information about that, about that machine. I can see in here exactly uh, the surface he's working with, the offset, if he's got a finished grade surface and supposed to be holding down a foot. This guy has a zero in. Hey, we're screwing up here. We need to get in there. We need to change that offset. I can see that from here. Uh, who's running it, what material they're working with, and things like that. I can see all that information. Something else I can see through here is a, a little graphic here that shows how much of the day they've got this uh, expensive GPS system on this machine. Are they using it? How much of the day are they working in, in manual? How much of the day are they working in auto? So are they using that machine to its full potential? We would also be able to see some productivity graph here. If we expect this machine to be producing uh, so many cubic yards or so many uh, square yards, however we want to define the productivity for each machine, we can see that here in our graph. Is he meeting our projected productivity? What I've talked about so far is what I would call basic side. It's the connectivity. Make, get the, that connection, get the information flowing back and forth from the audience. But now let's use that information uh, to monitor productivity as well. And that's where we can uh, bring all this information from the enterprise cloud and we can report on it after the fact. So every second of the day that that machine is connected to, that a GPS machine is connected to the cloud, it is sending a bit of data. It's horizontal, vertical position as well as a lot of other information, the blade orientation, the heading, the speed, all this other information is being stored in the cloud. Uh, what material they're working with, who's running the machine. So we can take all this data stored in the cloud and report on it after the fact. If I want to generate a report for how much material was moved out here yesterday from 7 a.m. to 5 p.m., we can go back and rebuild the surface as it was with the data that we had at 7 a.m. yesterday morning, rebuild that same surface at 5 p.m., and compare those two surfaces and get volumes automatically without having to do any survey work. I can just set up the report in here. If I want to see that same report every day, I set it up one time, and it will regenerate itself and distribute it to whoever I wanted to send it to. Email it automatically every day, how much each machine moved uh, throughout the day.